Hey friends, welcome back to my channel Fitness Geek. Uh, in today's video, we are talking about ChatGPT and Terraform. So uh, you have seen in the last video, we have installed uh, the ChatGPT extension called the Genie AI in our Visual Studio code. We will be using that extension. We'll ask it to create some configurations in Terraform. And the code that will be generated, we will just use it to create the infrastructure. So let's see how it goes, how good ChatGPT is, how good the code that it generates for, for Terraform is valid or not, if that can be used directly, or you will actually need to rewrite things, or you know, the lot of things that you need to consider before you can actually use the code. So, uh, so without any delay, let's jump into our video. This is the chat GPT Gini AI extension that we had installed in our previous video. I'm going to ask or prompt the chat GPT to write me some Terraform code with below criteria. So I'm just asking it to create me the Terraform configuration with the requirements and we will see what kind of code it generates. We will use that code to just run as is and if there are any errors we will try to fix it ourselves and in that way you'll come to know that will you be directly able to use the code that ChatGPT gives you or not so this is the three requirements that we are passing to create me an Azure storage account to adhere to security and compliance and to use variables wherever possible so we have given it the prompt and it is generating the code. It has generated the variables for us. That's the resource group. Now it's now it's writing the Azure RM storage account block, the resource block. I can already see some issues, the encryption bit which is not valid anymore and the latest versions of Azure Atom. Now it's explaining us what it has written. It is telling us uh, what which block does what. So the Azure Atom provider block is used to configure the Azure provider. The variable block, it has got all the variables. The resource group block and the storage account block so it has given us the code and but one thing is missing the terraform block the actual the main terraform block which will run this code so we'll have to ask it so i have asked us please write a terraform block for above azure rm provider we have so if you see this is the latest azure rm version and chat gpt generates me if i scroll down it generates me azure rm version 2.0 which is quite old and uh, as you might be knowing that chat gpt was trained uh, with data as latest as 2021 so lots of updates are missing This is the Azure Storage Account official documentation. You would see the latest version is 3.50. So there's a lot of uh, updates that's missing from the code chat GPT has generated. So a lot of things would have changed fundamentally. And I am sure the code that has been provided will not run. There's a lot of, uh, you, uh, you know, things gets deprecated. So it's always good to run as latest version of Azure Harum as possible. Anyhow, we will just copy that block, the provider block, and the Terraform block. We'll paste it here in our main.tf. And we'll go to the code. Let's copy the variables.
We'll copy the variables and paste it into our variables.tf. I removed the old ones. I have added the new ones. That's not a variable. Let me remove that. Now let's copy the resource blocks and paste it into our main.tf below our Terraform block. So we have copied over the code. As we know, this is using old Azure RM version. But we'll try to run the code and see what happens. This is more of a test drive. So let me first give it all the default values for the variables. I don't want to, you know, uh, give any input. So I would just, uh, yeah, give some default values. So the resource group name, fitness geek, hyphen, chat GPT demo, the storage account name, chat GPT, yeah, fitness demo, chat GPT, that, that should be all right. The variable location, default value, UK South. And that's it. So we have given all the, we have passed all the uh, default values for the variables. Let's open the terminal. Let's initialize our Terraform first. So Terraform init. And there's an error. It, there's a missing item separator. Uh, that, that's in the lifecycle block, which I don't want. So I have removed the lifecycle block. And uh, I will run the Terraform init upgrade as per the error. So it's actually downloading version 2.0. We have got the Terraform initialized. Now let's run Terraform plan. If everything goes well, it should create me the resource group and search account. As we have identified earlier, the encryption block, which ChatGPT has given us is no more valid with latest Azure RM provider so yeah that that's another issue let me just remove that so basically I'm removing one of the block that chat GPT has given us and is no more valid for new versions or I actually okay so we have initialized successfully. Let's run the Terraform plan. If everything goes well, it should generate the execution plan. So all is well now. We have corrected all the issues with the code. And anything that was deprecated, we have removed. If you see our execution plan, it is creating the storage account and the resource group with the names that we have passed in our variables. So we we have seen that obviously there are some issues with the code that we received. Let's ask ChatGPT what is the latest Azure RM provider version. So if you see, it is telling me as of October 2021, the latest version of Azure RM provider is 2.82. So we have seen that chat GPT does quite a good job, but it, it is not that helpful when it comes to coding real life, real time scenarios, uh, because everything is getting updated all the time. And this doesn't have the latest data. So yeah, it was good. It is good for getting the syntaxes and it will help you uh, improve your productivity a bit. And I'm sure they, that uh, you know, OpenAI is working on getting it as 
updated as possible and probably the paid versions will have more information uh, i haven't looked into that yet but definitely something to look into in our future videos for now that's that's it for t from today's video uh let's catch up next time and up until then take care and good luck do like and subscribe this video if you have enjoyed it keep supporting thank you